drivers on the island of Sodo. But today, I'm not on Sodo. Today, I'm visiting this beautiful railway. Do you know what kind of engine this is? That's right. It's a steam engine. It's called a steam engine because it uses steam to make it go. Thomas is a steam engine too. He needs coal to make a fire and water to make the steam. But steam engines aren't the only type of engines on Sodo. Look, here comes Diesel. Diesel and his friends don't run on steam. This is a diesel engine too. Diesels don't use coal or water like a steam engine. This diesel keeps its fuel in a big tank underneath the engine. This workman is getting ready to fill this engine's tank with a special fuel called diesel fuel. In the cab, the driver watches the fuel gauge to check when the tank is full. A diesel sounds very different to a steam engine. Listen. In the cab of a steam engine, the fireman shovels coal from the tender into the fire burning in the firebox. The driver watches his gauge to see the engine has enough steam, while the fireman checks there's enough water in the boiler. This diesel rail car looks like Daisy. The cab looks very different from a steam engine. No fireman, just the driver who drives using this big lever. So on this railway, there are diesel engines and there are steam engines both using different types of power to make them go. But there's another type of power engines can use. This is a modern electric train. It's powered by electricity, which comes from special cables high up above the tracks. The big arm on the roof of the train is called a pantograph. It slides along the cable and collects the electricity. Trains like this are very long and very fast. They can carry a lot of passengers over very long distances. Well, that was very interesting, wasn't it? Three different trains and three different types of power to make them go. <gasps> but this engine's ready to leave. I better be going. <laughs> 